Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I've got something special for you, especially the Potterheads. So today I'm going to be unboxing and building this. The Lego Fantastic Beasts Grindelwald's Escape Set. I got this from the US at a cheap price, courtesy of Black Friday. And this set, well, I could not go to the US actually. My uh, other relatives actually went there and they bought this for me when they came back. So I'm, I'm quite happy they did because it's one of my favorite Lego sets. And here is just so expensive, seriously. It's like, I don't know how much this was. This was about, okay, this is $20. Here it's like $50, seriously. And that's not because it's like high quality or something. It's just they like to raise the price here. Okay, so I'm going to be building this and I'm going to be doing a time lapse of the building part so I won't actually make it like a one hour video just because I'm building it because I tend to build quite slow depending on how big the set is. So I'm going to be opening it and then I'm going to do the time lapse while I'm building the Lego so you won't get bored and you might actually want to watch me build the whole thing. If you want to, if not, you can just skip to the very end, okay? This is the full set of Grindelwald's Escape. It only took me around 10 minutes in real time. So the set comes with two minifigures, which is Gallet Grindelwald, obviously, and Serafina Pickery, the Madam President of Makusa. And this is the incarceration carriage that is used to transport Grindelwald. And I must say, they did a very good job when trying to adapt this from the movie. The design looks similar and quite accurate to the movie although with a few notable differences so they have and it actually looks like a real carriage actually despite it being a magic carriage so they have two doors here one here and one here and they have four wheels too small too big like carriages like most carriages do this is the part where it attaches to the thestral and here it has a removable roof and I suppose that's actually in the design because that's an easier way to put in your characters rather than you trying to put them through the door which is much harder as you can see so you can put Grindelwald in here I guess there you go have fun going to prison 
Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much. This is where the the rider sits, or the person controlling the horse or thestrals in this case. They have two railings here. I will not really specify what the use of that. Uh, it's part of the design, and yeah, there are another. There's another reason for it. So these are four lights or lamps they use, and yeah, this is quite nice, and it's light. It's not heavy, and it's pretty much everything you expect from when you compare it to the movies it's quite it's quite good and yeah i really like the design this is actually one, one of my favorite parts about the set the set also comes with this new addition to lego which is the thestral and i really like it actually compared to the old version of the thestral this is quite nice and pretty much accurate to the movies i guess and that is all for today's video i hope you enjoy it i really like the set Actually, once I've finished building it, and it still remains one of my favorite sets out of the entire Wizarding World sets in LEGO. That includes Out of Fantasy Beasts and LEGO Harry Potter, of course. I will do another video explaining the differences between the LEGO set here and the movie scene, actually. But I can understand why it's different in many ways, because obviously to avoid spoilers from the movie when you look at the set, and amongst other reasons. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. Take care and I'll see you all later.